<laughs> you know, Javier? <laughs> yes. You know something? What? After the wedding, we will be related. You will be my papa. <laughs> <laughs> Your papa? Yes. <laughs> Rebleza, I always wanted a son, but I always wanted one younger than myself. <laughs> What's the celebration? Tevye is marrying off his oldest daughter. Oh, Tevye. Ah. May I offer my congratulations? <sighs> Thank you, Your Honor. Well, I have a piece of news that I think I should tell you as a friend. Yes, Your Honor. Well, I like you, and you are a decent, honest person. Well, how often does a man get a compliment like that? And, and, and the news? Well, we have received orders that sometime soon this district is to have a little unofficial demonstration. A pogrom? Here? No, just a little unofficial demonstration. Well, how little? Not too serious, just some mischief so that if an inspector comes through, he would have seen that we have done our duty. Personally, I don't know why there has to be this trouble among people, but I thought I should tell you, and you can tell the others. Thank you, Your Honor. If I may say so, it's too bad you're not a Jew. Uh, uh, that's what I like about you, Tevye. Always joking. And congratulations again for your daughter's item. Thank you, Your Honor. Dear God, do you have to send me news like that today of all days? I know we are the chosen people, but once in a while, can't you choose someone else? Anyway, thank you for sending a husband for my son, Lahaim. discuss it together, all right? Good. Now, Laban had two daughters, Leah and the beautiful Rachel, and Jacob, what the younger, Rachel, and he asked for her hand in marriage. Laban agreed only if Jacob would be willing to work for him for seven years. Was Laban a mean man? Ah, he was an employer. Now, after he worked for seven years, do you know what happened? Laban fooled him and gave him his ugly daughter, Leah. So now, to marry Rachel, Jacob was supposed to work another seven years. You see, children, you, you know, the Bible clearly teaches us you must never trust an employer. You understand? Yes, Perity. Yes, Perity. Papa isn't up yet? No, Mama. Then enough lessons. Now, come on, we have to do Papa's work today. He staggered home last night like a dead man. Now call me when Papa gets up. That was a very interesting lesson, Perti. Oh, you think so? Mm. Although I don't know if the rabbi would agree with your interpretation. Huh. And neither, I suppose, would the rabbi's son. My little sisters have big tongues. <laughs> what do you know about him, except that he's the rabbi's son? Would you be interested in him if he were the shoemaker's son or the tinsmith's son? At least I know this. He does not have any strange ideas about turning the world upside down. Ah, oh, certainly. Any new idea would be strange to you. Remember, the Lord said, let there be light. Yes, but he was not talking to you personally. Good day. You have spirit. Even a little intelligence, perhaps. Thank you. But what good is your brain? 
Without curiosity, it is a rusty tool. Good day, Earl. We have an old custom here. A boy talks respectfully to a girl. But of course, that is too traditional for an advanced thinker like you. Ah, uh, traditions? Nothing must change. Everything is perfect exactly the way it is. We like our ways. Our ways are changing all over, but yeah. You know, men and women must keep apart. Should not, you know, men study. Women in the kitchen should not touch each other. Should not even look at each other. I am looking at you. Oh, you are very brave. Do you know that in the city, boys and girls can be affectionate without the permission of a matchmaker? They all dance together. They even dance together. New dances, like this. You like it? It's it's very nice. There. We just changed an old custom. Yes. Well, you're welcome. I mean, thank you. I mean, good day. Good day, all. Ah, he's finally up. What happened to you last night? Besides, you drinking like a peasant. Did hey. you see Laser Wolf? Patience, woman, patience.